Assalamualaikum Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh uh, Today we going to look at the uh, The theory uh, Behind the uh, Laboratory on the uh, Jet flow So we are looking at the Linear momentum equation Linear momentum equation Actually for dynamics Is F Net zero it will cause the acceleration of the uh, or to the mass right and then for the fluid mechanic the net force is represented by this equation you have the net force also the summation of all forces acting on the fluid particle so you have mass of fluid that are moving thousands of particles inside the domain so we have mass uh, with the velocity v at one location let's say x and then at x at a distance from this this location we have the same mass but there will be a new velocity so dv means let's say this one is one dv is equal to v2 minus v1 v is the um, the the effective that we do normally we have the uh, the downstream uh, values minus the uh, upstream values right and we, we divide by the Time required for this mass to move from this location from x to x plus b, and then it is very difficult to evaluate this component of uh, linear momentum equation because we have to consider every fluid particle. So we are using a Reynolds transport equation theorem in order for us to uh, transform. Uh, the acceleration terms in, uh, so that we can evaluate based on the, uh, the the changes of the volume of the uh, um, the complete fluids plus the the um, the momentum flux that entering and leaving the system. So we have all the forces acting on the volume not on the control volume. They say V is a pipe, right? V is a pipe wall. And D is the control volume, right? The volume of So the force acting on this control volume causes it to expand or shrinking or is expand or shrinking with the the net momentum flux that leaving and entering the system. So you have these components rho v v dot uh, unit vector for areas. of those momentum flux in our experiments we're going to, to use the, uh, the, the nozzles uh, 
configuration and then we emit a jet flow into uh, a mass of body with uh, this type of cross section so if we look at three dimensional representation and we look from this side this is the volume of the void volumes we should have a hemispherical shape geometry will be a flat disk so there is no volumes so the, the jet flow will, end, uh, will uh, flow over these flat surfaces so in order for us to evaluate the linear momentum equation we need information about the inlet the velocity which is defined here we average we have to take average of velocity that leaving the jet that will be the of B in and then after it uh, flow over this object the velocity will be reflected deflected away from the surface at certain angles so if it's hemisphere the velocity will go back to the direction of inlet velocity so we have B out Then for the cone, uh, you can see that the velocity uh, directed, the outlet velocity directed to uh, 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 certain angles, right? And this angle is increasing up to 90 degree when the jet is flowing over the flat surfaces. So this is what you're going to observe in the uh, experiment. When we want to write the linear momentum equation, since the vector is a, a, a vector quantity, we have to define the, uh, the origin of coordinate system. So we're going to define positive x in the direction of jet flow and positive y is uh, perpendicular to the jet direction. So if the jet leaving the jet is uh, going to that direction the velocity will be negative and force also will be positive negative so in the free flow we have the property of free we have t for pressure right the unit is pascal and then we have these shear stresses And this uh, shear stress is also Pascal and is a function of uh, uh, dynamic viscosity, right? So all the forces will be the summation of forces due to pressure. So we have to define the control volume. So we, when we define the control volume, we define the control volume when the the value of uh, property is known. For example, for pressure. So here we know we. We design uh, the control volume so that it's outside from the domain of interest. So this one we have P A T M, and since for air, right? This one for air, the 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 variation of pressure does not change a lot uh, for air. So we can assume that P A T M is uh, covering the areas, certain areas. Of domain. Similarly, we have P bridge PATM in this direction. So PATM for this case as well. But the only difference is the pressure at the uh, feet. So here we have uh, 
issue at in the B in and then the areas where the fluid attached to the surface is the uh, uh, body right so we have fluid velocity that enter with B in and then here the velocity is zero so we just follow the streamline right we just streamline values here the velocity is zero so we expect the pp the pressure at the face of this body will be greater than p in so from bodily equation pb will be equal to p at the inlet plus half rho v cos inlet right so there will be if we multiply with area right with ab times the areas for this region AB um, minus P in times the A nozzle so we can see that the uh, force due to pressure is not equal to zero right so at this region we have the, the something that holding the body so right so that will be also cause uh, additional forces due to the uh, shear stresses. Right. So when we combine these two, we have uh, for V outlet, right? So V outlet is equal to zero because at this location, V outlet is equal to zero. So this one can be assumed zero, and we left with the uh, momentum flux that entering the inlet and this is one is equal to the net force due to the pressure and unknown pressure due to unknown forces due to the uh, this component f right but we're not going to consider this this values we just say that this f net the summation of all forces acting on the body is equal to the momentum flux entering the system so the due to the uh, when we evaluate the F net, right? So uh, this since is positive, the direction is in that direction. So the based on uh, Newton's the third Newton's law. So if D is the body A, so D is the body A. This A net equal to F net is equal to the body that holding this geometry. So this one is uh, F that acting on the body. Right. So just in summary, what we going to, what we do today is to look at the theoretical background of the uh, linear momentum equation. And then we look at three different geometry that we're going to use to see the impact of the jet flow. And here is the example that we can do to evaluate the jet flow that impart force on the uh, disc. So from uh, the forces that we calculate due to pressure and unknown values here, we not we it, we do, do not consider. We get the net force. And this is positive, we just consider it's positive. That is the value that we get. Right? So we find that it's F net is equal to F body. Hope that uh, uh, give you some um, understanding about the evaluation of, uh, of the forces acting on the body. And hope you can using it.